Well, that confirmed tornado you were just talking about, it was near the Eagle Ridge Golf Club in Fort Myers, Florida. That was at 625 this morning. You mentioned there were numerous calls that were made regarding electrical hazards, blown transformers and damage due to some of the high winds. One person did report some minor injuries. Amy Bolin joins us now by phone. She's the director of public relations for South Trail Fire District in Fort Myers. Amy, let's uh, talk about what happened here. If you walk us through what happened early this morning as people were getting up in some cases, it was early, 625. It was. It was uh, very early for us this morning, and uh, we didn't have, we were underneath our, a tornado watch and uh, just kind of a typical cold front coming through. And then all of a sudden, uh, many people started phoning in uh, for emergencies, saying that they had uh, buildings damaged, uh, they had their transformers down, electrical hazards down. So uh, our fire department immediately responded and got to work. That's, and it's, it's just great that there were no reports of other injuries, just that one person as well. What about some of the damage that you saw when you were out and about? We're looking at pictures right now. You can see some maybe carports or roofs that were down on some of the cars there. Yeah, so we had over uh, over 35 homes so far on our first impression uh, damage assessment. Do have damage, and that is roof damage. A lot of green pool cages um, have been destroyed. Uh, a lot of trees, and we did have vehicles that were damaged from the down trees or the carports that collapsed. But overall, the most important part, just like you said, is we've had one minor injury. So as long as everybody remembers the importance of leaving the chainsaw work and the ladder and roof mm -hmm. work to the professionals, hopefully we can stay at just one injury. Yeah, I mean, that was going to be my next question. Are people out there with the chainsaws, uh, they obviously go out there, start to clear out the roads. How are the roads looking for emergency crews if they need to get by some of these roads? Firefighters, when they were going through for the first um, impression damage assessments, they cleared the roads as they went through, carrying our chainsaws and carrying other uh, equipment with us. Uh, so we were able to clean up the roads as we went because with many neighborhoods we couldn't actually access until those roads were cleared. So uh, we did most of it. And then uh, the best part was that neighbors were helping neighbors uh, and that many crews already were brought in, roofing companies and tree companies, and they were in there already cleaning up. Uh, when I left the scene at just 11:30 this morning, including you know heavy equipment was moving those those large trees and making sure that everything was going to be taken care of, especially with the windy conditions that were still existing. Mm.